Okay, this conference will now be recorded. Hi, we're here with Colette and we're going to be looking at um, a session in EPT. EPT stands for Emotional Polarity Technique and there's so much need for new imagination in um, emotional health care and there's just um, this this technique is so unique in the fact that it combines several different uh, techniques, but the biggest key in this uh, technique is forgiveness. And um, just to give you a, a just a quick synopsis, um, emotional polarity technique is a completely different approach to emotional health care. And rather than relying on the conventional drug therapy or traditional talk therapy. EPT relies on the science of forgiveness. EPT has over 25 years of clinical success in uh, ending all manner of physical and emotional pain and suffering in not only adults, but children too. So again, we're here with Colette today. And Colette, I just I need to know, um, kind of get an idea of what you want, what your focus is, what you'd like to work on. Oh, what do I want to work on today? Um, obviously to get out of isolation. No, but seriously, <laughs> um, no, whatever, whatever, whatever shows up, whatever comes up. Um, obviously it's meant to be dealt with today. Okay. Isolation. Snake. Um. I know you've volunteered, but is there any issues? Uh, number one, do you have any physical pain that you're dealing with? Um, do I have any physical pain? Not, not really. I mean, I had a bad fall before I came over, so my left knee was bothering me. Okay. And my right, my right shoulder. But other than that, I can. I don't have any pain per se at the moment. No. But I, that, that just happened about two weeks before I came over. So I did have a really, really bad fall. So I was dealing with that before I came over and getting adjusted and stuff like that. So, okay, um, is there any emotion on that? Okay, I'm going to see if there's any emotion attached to those. Okay. Um, um, are you having any kind of like anxiety about the move? No, no. Okay. No, no. I'm actually very, actually very much at peace about the move. I mean, I'm happy about the move. Um, you know, I've taken the the quarantine time as a time of rest and reflection, and you know, meditation, and taken this time to actually nurture myself during the process, because it is such a mon monumental move. Um, and obviously, you know, leaving leaving my friends and leaving Florida, you know, has a big emotional impact on me as well. You know, because it's it's you know you're changing your whole life, so it's 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 a big it's a big thing, you know. So, um, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm. I feel like I'm picking up on maybe. Um, well, it, I, I felt like it was it, a sense of abandonment, but it, I don't feel like it's abandonment. I think it's more of the um, transition. The transition, yeah, I would agree, yeah, yeah. And then getting over there, I mean, you've mentioned several times since you got on that uh, the isolation. So I think that's there's something in there that's kind of pointing well, at the, the piece about it. Yeah. But yet the fact that you're mentioning it kind of tells me that maybe there's um, a, just a little bit of um, the trans. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting transition. Transition. Mm -hmm. um, but you said that the the knee and the shoulder was from a fall, correct? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Here with this. Yeah, and you'd also said something about, you know, things in your life are just kind of always have to sound, if I can put it in what my understanding is like, things in your life just seem to be kind of grandioso and, you know, like nothing, nothing's kind of simple, but, you know, your life is kind of big and 
Does that make sense? For some reason, I picked up on that. I'm like, <laughs> well, I hit pace of holes. <laughs> okay. Just get some water. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to run with what I feel like I'm picking up. That yeah, that's it, fine. yeah. I'm not like I said. I, I, I it's almost it comes up like abandonment, but it, I don't feel like it's abandonment. I think it's more of transition. That you're in a transition, and so the emotions on that are, well, more. Well, I don't like the word abandoned because I don't feel like you feel abandoned. No, I, I don't feel. feel like, no, 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 no. I don't feel abandoned. No, I, I agree with the word transition, which it is a trans. Obviously, it is a transition from Florida back to Ireland. I mean, it's. Is it yours? So your feelings of transition. Is it with your life or with the move? Uh, with your life in general? Mm -hmm. Can you expand on that at all? Like, um, because uh, I, I don't feel I don't feel like it's the tra the tr the the move. It's more like um, just getting more con comfortable with your transition of your life and as a whole. Can you expand on that at all, or? Well, basically, I mean, I'm moving. I'm moving back to a country that I left 19 years ago, so it's really is. Uh, it really is. A, it's really a, a a clean slate because Ireland isn't the same country I left 19 years ago. Um. So it's you know. So I'm really starting from scratch. I'm really starting from a clean slate. You know, because things have changed so much since I've left, you know. Um, okay. So, but I'm looking forward to the new adventure. Yeah, so. so I honestly, I'm, I'm, I think where my confusion has been, and maybe Dr. Nick can jump in on that, but um, I'm, I feel like I've, this is the first time I've actually felt that somebody just um, really has a good connection with what's happening. But the energy of it all, uh, just being able to get that energy to go in, in the right direction so it all flows nicely for you. Okay, yeah. Right. I, I, here's what I would jump in on. Okay. I, would, I, I agree. Like, Colette is always, like, she's, like, so up for change and up for what whatever comes up is what I want to work on. And okay. for Colette or anybody who says, you know what, I don't have anything in particular that's bugging me, whatever comes up. In that case, I would just basically do the putting it all together technique. How many issues are there that are okay. coming up that could help Colette today? Just right there. Now, we know okay. it's transition because you picked up on that. But you could just start very quickly with someone who has, who, who doesn't, I don't know where I want to begin. And you go, that's okay. I'll muscle test. How many issues do you have to work on today to move you forward? Two issues. Think about the first issue. That's it. Okay. And then find the original event and then go from there. And then hook back to the idea of transition and what she's going through. So if okay. that helps. If that helps. Yeah. Um, well, I was kind of feeling that way, but I wanted, I was like. Right, right. So that's what the putting, forward. that is the putting it all together technique. That's what it's for. For someone okay. who comes in and they really don't have any significant thing. They're just saying, can you do some EPT and find something? And Help me move forward. That's all they're saying. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, if we're looking at the transition, okay, I'm going to start with, um, like she suggested, how many issues to to help you move forward, and okay. I'm getting two. All right. Um, and stages of healing. Looks like you're at three. And three is uh, bargain. I like to tell people that, you know, the paper that I have, it's like, it's okay. Um, 
I'm, I'm going to do all these things that I need to do to make sure that I'm going in the right direction, basically. So, you know, you know, taking your vitamins and to clear up your health and stuff like that. So uh, I've got you in stage three of, of bar, uh, bargaining. Um, can you say for me, I can show up? I can show up. I can pay attention. I can pay attention. I can tell the truth. I can tell the truth. And I can let go. And I can let go. Yes. Okay. Um, any distress on this, these, these issues? No. Nope. I'm only getting a one. Any elations on the transition? Yeah. Good. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Looking at five on that. You feel really good about the transition. <laughs> okay. So... What I'm going to do now is what she suggested is go back to an original event where you might have had some transition that you needed to process, good or bad, um, mm -hmm. that to, to go forward in your life. So. Okay. I'm getting age 15. And. Out. It would be, you know, the same kind of a feeling, but I am going to test for other. I'm going to I'm going to test for emotions at that time that might give you an idea if there's anything else besides just the feeling of a transition. No, I'm not feeling like there's anything there. So, do, can you think of anything at age 15? Um, and a transition. Not off the cuff, no. You could yeah, always been... jump in here and add some, you know, test her for the emotions that show up at age 15, if there's any other people involved, and then you'll have a framework that she can look okay. at really easily. Okay. Okay. Now, I went through the organs and I didn't get anything, but allow me try it again. I, other emotions I felt at 15. Nervous, hope, hopeless, nervous, hopeless. I'm getting hopeless at 15, which would be um, stomach, spleen, pan pancreas, low self-esteem, hopeless. I honestly don't know. And would it? And let's see if, if it was a who or a what. Oh, sure. Let's make this even more fun with a what. <laughs> <laughs> possessions. You're somebody else's possession. Uh, tangible, intangible. Um, so it would have been uh, somebody else's emotion, somebody else's relationship. Um, I felt low self-esteem and hopeless at 15 with somebody else's something intangible. You were in Ireland at the time? Yes. Yeah, 15, um, I'm trying to think. You could test and see if it's a friend, a family member, if it's a male, it's a female, if it's somebody her age or not her age. Then you can narrow even, it down even, to the... Even though I got it as a possession and it was intangible? Oh, well, you told her she felt somebody else's hopelessness and low self-esteem? No, I I, it was hers. It was her, oh. self, her feelings of low self-esteem and hopelessness with uh, a what, which turned out to be somebody else's somebody else's possession. Right. So that's that where was intangible. Find yeah. out who somebody else is. Okay. Don't ask her. Muscle test Don't so ask. you can narrow right. it down. That's what I'm looking for. Who? Okay. So so we're finding the whose possession. Parents, dad, 
parents mail. Let me start that over. Um, all right, Lord, I need your help here because I am going to reject feeling insecure. I am confident in what I can do with EPT, and I will not allow insecurity to sabotage this. This is a tough one. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're doing great. You know, I, yeah, you're doing great. Okay. So it's family, original, current, parents, siblings, extended parents, male, 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 female. So I got female. Somebody in the family felt my emotions with somebody else's low self-esteem and hopelessness. Female. Mom, dad. So a friend. So so a friend's. So you felt your emotions of low self-esteem and hopelessness with a friend's. Um, with a friend. With a friend's possession. Am I? Wow. And it's intangible. So a friend's relationship. Well, could that could that be could that be related to being bullied? Well, definitely, because you would definitely feel like less of a person and like there's something wrong with you if, yeah. if somebody's bullying you. Yeah. So, was there a, somebody who was bullying you or bullying a friend? No, I wasn't bullying my friend. Like I was being bullied. Okay. Around that age, I think it was around that age. Yeah. Okay, so I felt low self-esteem and hopeless. So where am I? Why am I getting the intangible? Um, maybe the intangible was the other person's feelings towards you. Yeah. Because they were bullying you. Oh, yeah. yeah because, because I have because at school, you know, the way kids are are kind of, you know, they're harsh. Because I had two different colored eyes, right? I was picked on in school. So that was that was that was a big that was a that was a, that was a now it doesn't bother me but that's back in the day when you're growing up that kind of right thing, if you're any way different at all and even today you know people people bully you you know if you're any way different so I guess okay yeah, that's, so I felt my feelings of low self-esteem and hopelessness with the, the who should have been my friends because they they thought I was different and they bullied me right. that, that that rings true to me yeah different man so at that point of course I usually like to try to figure out the connection between those two but um, your body obviously knows the connection but I mean, 15, you definitely in it. I mean, were, was there any other things in your life that like you were moving or maybe going, going into a different grade that was, that kind of stands out to you at that same time? Um, probably going into a different class. Yeah. Probably, probably going into a different. Yeah, probably a different class, I would say. Because 15, what grade is that? 15, freshman? Yeah, freshman. Go, go, third, yeah. yeah, going into, do you call it high school over there? Uh, second, well, secondary school. Secondary yeah. school, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so that transition on top of being bullied would be pretty traumatic, I would say. Yeah, and, and it's kind of interesting. Um, I mean, the person that bullied me, she she before she died, it was very interesting. I was back on a trip from Florida a few years ago, and I met the person, and she actually apologized for for she knew what she did, and she actually apologized, which I kind of thought, wow, you know. And then a year later, she passed away. And I just thought, wow, that was pretty, you know, like, you know, the way the way things like I had been out in the 
out of the country for so many years and I haven't seen her after that incident. And then I met her and then she actually apologized like what, what, what she said to me. And then like, then she passed away and I just like, I felt sad, but then I felt a great sense of, of, you know, I forgive her obviously. And right. um, yeah, so it's kind of, it's, that's interesting. It's interesting how it came up. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm wondering if the fact that that happened and the forgiveness happened at that point has made it so that transition is easier for you now than what it, what it was at the time. And yes. that's maybe why you're having, you know, you're not having a lot of stress with the transition because you, you walked through some of those processes, but that memory is still there. So it, it can still what I'm finding is we can have it understood in our minds. We can understand it with how we manage things. Cause you know, like you said earlier, it's like when I was a kid, you know, as an adult, I can process that and reason it, but our body still hangs on to those, those emotions and those, those, that energy that we have to let go of. So that helps us, you know, and it, and even though we may be happy with the transition, we, um, there still may be some hindrances in that transition, like stupid things like maybe your luggage getting st you know, stuck when you're on a flight and you have to wait on it, just stuff like that. You're happy to go, but you still have those things that show up that you know kind of hinder things. So that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Is um, so we need to just get rid of that energy so it went so this transition goes smoothly. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, here you are, you do have, you know, as I think about it, as I'm saying it, um, you do have the hindrance of now you got to sit there and you got to wait on, you know, quarantine and you've got to wait on your stuff. And, and I mean, that's normal as far as the stuff is concerned. But when it comes to the, the, um, uh, it, it is normal, but it's not normal for me. Do you know what I mean? Like it's normal, right. but it's normal to be in quarantine, which nobody, and then you're waiting on your stuff and then you're doing your paperwork and then you have so much paper. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, but it's, it's, right. it's, it's yeah, yeah. That's, that's funny how that comes up. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> how I'm feeling. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. So, um, we're going to, I'm going to address that first because what I got was pancreas. So what you don't have ma uh, magnets, do you, or do you? No, I don't have magnets. No. Okay. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to. I do have. I do have. I have heat and bracelet. Does that help? Uh, no. Let's just go ahead and use your hands because your hands can be a you know positive, yeah, negative, or north pole. Yeah, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is um I'm going to have you put. Let me think here for a second. Pancreas. I'm going to have you put your palm of your hand on your pancreas, which is like on this. Oh, I'm at the opposite side. So that side is your liver. The other side your pancreas on your yeah. left side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and on your forehead, um, put your palm on your forehead and take three deep breaths. We're going to cleanse that. Think about that energy of the being bullied, the transition. It, you know, going through it to another class in school, um, with low self-esteem and hopelessness that you can't change your eyes. Okay, and when you're done, you can take your hands down. Take any other emotions on this picture? I'm getting a no on the emotions. Um, so we did have two issues. So is there a second issue on this? So second issue, we're going to go to... Shirley, you might want to go ahead and do the forgiveness for this memory. Oh, and then it might just bobble right into the next issue without trying. Okay. 
and, and you won't get confused which one did I need to forgive. So if you go okay. ahead and just work through the forgiveness on this age 15 memory, that would be incredible. And then check if there's still any more issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So fantastic. Thank you. I love you being my big fan. <laughs> I mean, okay. okay. <laughs> You're doing awesome. Okay, Colette, I'm going to just have you put your hands together. Oh, now I think what I'm going to have you do is put your put your hands on the release points on your collarbone. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to have you uh, repeat some statements after me. So, um, I forgive my 15 year old self. I forgive my 15 year old self for believing that. I was different for believing that I was different and that that's why people bullied me that's why people bullied me especially that girl especially that girl and it caused me to have low self-esteem and um, hopelessness and it caused me to have low self-esteem and hopelessness as I was transitioning as I was transitional in the in in my life in my life and take a great breath um i forgive myself for believing i forgive myself for believing anything that made me feel bad about myself anything that made me feel bad about myself that other people had to say about me that other people have to say about me. I forgive myself for um, seeing seeing transition. I forgive myself for seeing transition as yeah in any negative light. In any negative light. Because transition is actually a good thing. Because transitional is actually a very, very good thing. Okay, deep breath. I thank God for transition in my life. I thank God for transitional in my life. And um, because it helps me know that I'm moving forward. Because it helps me know that I'm moving forward. And it's a good sign that I am moving forward. And it is a good sign that I am moving forward. Deep breath in. I thank God that I'm I'm not stuck. I thank God that I'm not stuck. That even though I have some things in my life that are feel like a, a, a strange transition. Even though I feel some things are a strange transition that I know that it's a good thing because it means I'm going forward I know it's a good thing as I know that I am moving forward okay, deep breath I forgive the girl who bullied me I forgive the girl who bullied me um, so that, uh, and I'm making this statement now and I'm making the statement now. Even though I have already forgiven her. Even though I have already forgiven her. I want to make sure that I've released every ounce of that from my body. I want to make sure that I have released every ounce of that from my body. And from my mind and spirit and soul. From my mind my body, my spirit, and my soul. Yes, deep breath. I ask God to forgive me. I ask God to forgive me. For feeling low self-esteem and hopeless. For feeling low self-esteem and hopeless. When I was 15. When I was 15. Um, because he was always with me because he was always with me and i was always have always had value to him and i always had value to him 
deep breath in. Um, I let go of um, any emotion I had when I was 15. I let go of any emotion I had when I was 15. That would hinder my moving forward. That would hinder me moving forward. In any part of my life. In any part of my life. Deep breath in. I for uh, I ask others others to forgive me. I ask others to forgive me if I've ever bullied them. If I have ever bullied them. Known or unknown. Known or unknown. And causing them to have hurt feelings. Or causing them to have hurt feelings. Hurt feelings. Um, or make them feel less about themselves. Or make them feel less about themselves. Like I felt when I was 15. Like what I felt when I was 15. Without these patterns. Without these patterns. I am free to feel good about myself. I am. I am free to feel good about myself. And love myself more. I love myself more. <laughs> Take a deep breath on that one. <sighs> Without this pattern, I am free. Without this pattern, I am free. To um, be around people who don't always see me the same way as God sees me. To be around people that don't always see me the way God sees me. And be okay with that. And be okay with that. I don't have to take on um, negative emotions about myself. I don't have to take on negative emotions about myself. If other people feel differently than I do about me. And if other people feel different about me, that's okay. Yeah, deep breath. I love and accept myself in all transitions. I love and accept myself in all transitions. Even when the moments get, can get um, difficult. Even when moments get difficult. Or if they aren't difficult. Or even if they aren't difficult. Deep breath in. I thank God for um, the things he's done for me. I thank God for all the things he's done for me. To bring grace and mercy into my life. To bring grace and mercy into my life. In such powerful ways. In, in such powerful ways. That... I can go through transitions at this point. That I can go through transitions at this point. Um, without a lot of stress over it. Without a lot of stress over it. And feel good about it. And feel great, awesome about it. Yes. Deep breath in. <laughs> um. I'm thankful for transition in my life. I am thankful for transition in my life. And I'm thankful that I can move forward without distress. And I'm thankful I can move forward without stress. Deep breath in.
I thank God for transition. I thank God for transition. Okay, I'm testing. I'm, I'm showing you a five on that. Mm -hmm. And now we'll see if, uh, if there's any other issues that need to be dealt with. Looks to me like that. You know, I'm 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 getting a no that we've we've covered it. Um, um, this distress. Again, you're still at only at one, which is not bad. Elations. Looks like we moved to eight in elations on transition. <laughs> That's good. And like what I say, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I don't, I can't say that I feel pressured to like take any further with that because you, you're comfortable with the tr transition. Yes, I am. And, yes, I am. And, and I don't want to, I, I guess I'm just feeling, I don't want to push you into something further than well, you're, you're in the proper place for this particular situation in your transition. And I think you got a lot of healing when she said she was sorry. I mean, how do we not transition? And, yeah. and our forgiveness when somebody makes that effort and we have a genuine heart to forgive them. So it's like, I've, right. I I mean, everybody else can jump in on this at this point if they want, but I feel good about it. How about you? I feel great about it. Thank you so much. I'm very <laughs> grateful for you to take the time and, and do it. Um, really, really great. And you were awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Colette. Thank you. You you've been a good lesson for me because to have somebody be positive on the front end it's been it's been very enlightening to me because I've never had anybody not show up without some kind of a grief or some kind of a, an emotional distress that they wanted to try to fix so to find the opposite is is it's a new thing in my list of knowledge okay. so okay. it's I'm been sorry. this has been really good for me to uh, oh, find another facet of this because this this process is amazing and and it's good to see that um there's so many facets of it so oh, that's great. yeah no I, I any chance i can do to help out you know practitioners i love i love to help out and uh, i'm very grateful well, to pay and, and Annette as well so um yeah thank you so much great to meet you it's 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 great so to meet awesome. you too it's so awesome to do it across the pond. I think this is yeah. great. I think this is great. So you can, you know, this is awesome. And 